Hi, this is Info Puppet, and I'm going to show you a feature in Photoshop Elements 13 that's hidden, and it's incredible! You're going to absolutely love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Okay, let's open up Photoshop Elements 13. I can't wait! I'm gonna click on Photo Editor. And, come on, you can do it. That says Adobe Photoshop Elements 13. And, there it is. Now, wait a minute, this doesn't look right. What is this? What's all this stuff? Well, this is what they call Photoshop Elements Live. Now, if you scroll down, you've got articles, and things about photography and Photoshop elements. It's awesome, I love it. But right now, let's just go up here and click on expert. This is what we're used to seeing. Now I'm gonna show you something that's gonna work great in Photoshop elements 13, 12, 11, and 10. So I'm just gonna come up here and select file and open recently edited file. I'm gonna do this twice. I'm gonna open up two images. Now just going back up here and opening up my second image. Now how do I open up two images at the same time? Well I see two of them down here. If I drag this, it really doesn't open it up separately, it's just another layer. Alright, so here's what you do. What you're going to do is you're going to come over here. If you're on a Mac, you're going to go to the Photoshop Elements Editor. And if you're on a PC, you're going to click on Edit. Then you're going to find Preferences, General. Look at this, see this? Allow floating documents in expert mode. Click on that and click OK. Hey, it's still not working. Why do I listen to Info Puppet? Well, you have to come up here to Windows, Images, and Float All in Windows. And there you go. Told you. All right, now. Now for the really cool thing. I'm so excited. I can barely contain myself. This is so awesome. It's a new content aware in Photoshop Elements 13. Now, if you look for it, you're going to go to Edit, Fill Layer, and, well, well, wait a minute, where's content aware? There's no content aware! What's wrong with this puppet? Well, you have to, you have, to have a selection before you can find it. By the way, this is going to work better if you get a real close selection to what you want to want move out of the image. Okay? Now I'm going to come up here again to edit and select fill selection. And look what it says! Content Aware! My favorite, favorite tool. See, there's some of the other things. You want Content Aware? Click on OK. And get ready. You're gonna love this. Look at that! It's awesome! I just hit a... Uh, Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC and got rid of the marching ants. Look what a great job it did! Alright. Now we're going to go to Guided. I'm going to show you the next thing I really love about Photoshop Elements 13. And then we're going to go click on Create. And Facebook Cover! Yes, it's true! It's a easy Facebook cover. There's different templates. You can click on anything you want. Let's pick this one right here. I'm going to select OK. What it's going to do right now is going to take the last image I was working on and putting it in my Facebook cover. What does that say? Step 1. Look at that! Now see there's my image of the forest. But I'm going to click on where, you know, your your photo shot or your profile shot will go. And there it is! Now you can also grab the image and, posi and reposition it just right. Now I'm going to click on this image. And I'm going to put another image in there. And there it is. Look at that awesome Facebook! Cover shot, I love it! Anyways, these are just a couple of things I absolutely love about Photoshop Elements 13. Do me a favor and leave a comment. Thank you so much from Info Puppets!